What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about one specific element of new information that we got regarding Modern Warfare 2 that wasn't revealed to us in the early media presentation of the game, but was revealed to VentureBeat, I will leave a link to the article down below, where they ask a lot of questions, and the devs provided some exclusive answers there. The big one I wanted to focus on today, though, is Destruction. Now, destruction is something that really traditionally isn't part of Call of Duty. We had some very limited destruction elements in some older Call of Duty games. However, with Call of Duty Vanguard, destruction was a big marketing feature for them, and it's something that was heavily featured in every one of the multiplayer maps, where you not only have destructible doors and window shades, but you also have certain walls and other elements of the map that are intact when the match starts, but they get destroyed as the match goes on. When it comes to Modern Warfare 2, they ask the question, are the maps made with destruction in mind? And the answer to this was straight up, no, we are not doing destruction. Now they went on to explain that with like concrete barriers, for instance, you can chip and dish into them, but it's not full on destruction. It's more so just visual damage that you can see. So you can see that something has been shot at and has been destroyed to some degree, but not in a way that really alters the play space or opens up lines of sight or angles or anything. And when it comes to this, I'm very relieved to see this. I was worried that with the destruction in Vanguard, they were just gonna take that feature and run with it going forward with the Call of Duty franchise and just expand on it more and more. And to me, at least when it comes to the multiplayer side of things, that just doesn't fit in with what Call of Duty is, which is an arena shooter. And when it comes to arena shooters, I think it's very important to be controlling your angles and your lines of sight and the pieces of cover on the map rather than being able to shoot holes in any wall or, or break down various walls and open up new lines of sight. I feel like with that, that would just take away from what Call of Duty is. And when it came to the destruction in Vanguard, at least they kept it fairly simple where they basically just took areas that would have been open and just boarded them up. So you have to break those boards to now open it up. So while I don't feel like they took destruction way too far in Vanguard, I also felt like it didn't really add anything to the gameplay experience. And unfortunately, the interaction with these destructible elements were so inconsistent that I feel like it was unnecessary and took away from the gameplay experience. A great example of this is going full sprint into a boarded up area that you're supposed to be able to just sprint through and break through. But sometimes at a full sprint, you run straight into that wall and it just stops you dead in your tracks and it doesn't get destroyed like it's meant to, which could destroy an opening route for you, for instance, through no fault of your own. On top of that, there were also several areas of destruction where aim assist would get screwed up. If you were aiming through an area that's been destroyed, you would just wouldn't be getting aim assist. And I do feel like if you've got a clean view of your target, your aiming mechanics should work consistently. Regardless of what your view is on aim assist, the aiming mechanics on a clearly visible target should be the same every single time. Now, one key thing that I will say that I loved about the destruction in Vanguard was the ability to destroy doors. You could shoot holes in doors, so then you could just shoot a camper inside a room if they had a door closed, or you could just straight up destroy the entire door completely with a grenade or just by shooting it a bunch. And if doors do end up returning to multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2, which I'm not 100% sure on at this point, we did see doors in the campaign missions that they showed us behind the scenes, but I'm unsure about how they're handling it in multiplayer. In either case, assuming they do have doors in multiplayer, I would love to see the ability to destroy them just like in Vanguard. I think that would make for much more interesting gameplay surrounding doors, and it would also reduce a lot of the complaints surrounding doors because that was a very big complaint throughout Modern Warfare 2019's life cycle for many people. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for today's quick video. This is just a topic that I felt was worth discussing and creating a video on its own for. I guess one other thing I should mention from that Q&A regarding destruction is apparently with single player, it's got some great destruction and they went crazy on that. So that sounds interesting and exciting because single player is less about like controlling angles and a competitive sort of multiplayer experience. So I'm all on board with destruction for single player. I'm just happy to hear that it's not gonna be a prominent element in the multiplayer side of things. Unless we're talking about doors, in which case I'd love to see it. And with that, this is where I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments section down below. Do you like the fact that Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer won't have destructible environments, kind of like we saw in Vanguard? Or did you like that feature in Vanguard and do you wish they would have expanded on that for Modern Warfare 2? And then also as a separate topic, 
if doors are returning to Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, do you think the doors should be destructible like in Call of Duty Vanguard, or do you think they should follow suit with Modern Warfare 2019 and be completely indestructible? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.